we are going to make this awesome modal component purely in React and Tailwind CSS, along with this smooth transition effect. Let's get straight to it. Initially, I have the buttons already set up. You can copy the styles if you want, it is completely optional. We'll just focus on the modal component from here. It will take the open state, on close function, and children. Let's start with the backdrop. When the user clicks on the backdrop, it would trigger the on close function. For styles, make it fixed and inset zero, so it can appear in front and span the whole screen. Make the content completely centered horizontally and vertically. We'll add a transition on the background color. When opened, we want it to be visible with black background having 20% opacity. Otherwise, it will be invisible. Let's add the component before moving ahead. We need a state to control the open state of the modal. This button will open the modal. Pass this open state to the modal and the onclose function that will set the open state to false. I will just add this trash icon as a child. Make it horizontally centered in red. It should open the modal now. I think I forgot to show the children. Let's move on to the actual modal. Background white, rounded borders, shadow, padding, and apply transition on all properties. When the modal is opened, it will be 100% scaled with full opacity. Otherwise 125% scaled for the zoom effect and zero opacity for the fade effect. And our bare bones modal is done. But you'll notice that clicking on the modal is actually closing it. And in most cases, you don't want that. This is because of event bubbling, due to which the click events on a child, that is our modal, are bubbled up to the parent, that is our backdrop. Which ultimately triggers the onclose function set on our backdrop. To prevent that, we need to stop the propagation of the click event. It should prevent this behavior now. Last thing we need is the close button on the top right corner of our modal. I am making it absolute so it can appear above the content. Place it top right leaving some space. And the usual button stuff. And assign the onclose function to it. Finally, our modal component is done. I will just give a short demonstration on how to use it. I usually wrap the whole content with a container of a specific width or max width. An action icon on top. And the body or text content below that with less width or you can use padding also.
Finally some action buttons on the footer. That's it. Thanks for watching till the end. Leave a like if you've found this helpful and subscribe to see more content like this.